Hi there. Now, in the past, I've shown you that if y equals the natural log of x, then dy by dx equals 1 over x. And this led to this result, that if we were to integrate then 1 over x with respect to x, the result would be the natural log of x plus a constant c. And I also showed you that if we take this a bit further, if y equals the natural log of some function of x, f of x, then dy by dx was equal to f dash of x, that's the first differential of f of x, all divided by f of x. And that meant that if we were to reverse the process, the integral of f dash of x over f of x with respect to x led to the natural log of f of x plus a constant c. So you should already then be familiar with these two results. But what I want to show you next though is what happens if x is a negative number, it's less than zero. The natural log of x is undefined. So how do we get around this problem? So let's look at what happens then if x is negative, less than zero. If I had to integrate 1 over x with respect to x, then what I can do is say that this is the integral of negative 1 all divided by negative x. Okay, and that's integrated with respect to x. Now from this result here, you can see that by differentiating the denominator negative x, I end up with negative 1, which is the differential of the denominator. You see it in the numerator here. So we know the result for this is then going to be equal to the natural log then of negative x plus that constant of integration c. And this result here, the natural log of negative of a negative number will clearly be a positive value. So if I label this result here 1 and this result here 2, by combining these two results for 1 and 2, you can see that the integral of 1 over x with respect to x can be written as the natural log of the modulus of x. So this tells us then, by writing the modulus sign, whether x is a positive or negative value, we end up taking the log of that positive value. And this is defined for any real number except 0. Remember, you cannot divide by 0. And similarly, we can extend this result to the integral of f dash of x over f of x with respect to x, it becomes the natural log of the modulus then of f of x plus that constant of integration c. So I hope that's given you an idea now why we write the mod sign around the function of x or just x itself there in case our value of x was a negative value. Okay.